Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and yes, you can tell by the title, we're redoing a room in our flat. If you watch Sarah's bedroom makeover, cue back to that clip. Mark my words, <laughs> this is the last room in our flat that we are painting, decorating, changing. Well, this wasn't planned and we have extended our lease on this flat and it's something we want to do forever. It's literally so on a budget. We've done this for under 50 quid. All of the supplies, everything we have, it's going to be a real small toilet transformation. That's the plan. Um, everything that I feature in this video, I'll leave linked down below. We're going to talk through paint colors. We're going to talk through floor tiles. We just want to put some love into that room because it's just a bit meh. And other people are coming around as well. The whole flat looks lovely. And then we're like, oh, the loo's just down the corridor. And you go in and it's just... It's just a bit bland and dull. So um, yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna head into the loo now and we're gonna give it a bit of a prep. I'm gonna talk you through what we're gonna do. So this is the toilet as it currently stands. There's nothing wrong with it as such, it's just white. When we first moved in, it was magnolia. We put these pictures on the wall and that was, that's pretty much all we did with it. It was just like, it's a toilet. You literally just close the door and that's, that's pretty much it. So the plan is I'm gonna completely paint the top half black. Now, I know that's not going to be to everyone's taste, but we thought with the white, it's essentially half white, half black. And then we're going to completely cover the floor tiles in some stick-on vinyl that we have. So I think the contrast will look really nice, and then we're going to pop some greenery in here as well. So it's going to be white, black, and green. That's the only colours, and a little terracotta. So yeah, that's the idea. So what we need to do is basically take the prints off the wall, give everything a little clean, and then we're going to tape up and start with the black. I'm very excited. I feel like it's going to look really dramatic. We love it. All right, let's go. This is what we mean about London properties and how the landlords don't really look after them. Like, this is wallpaper. It used to be that orange colour and then they just wallpapered over it and painted it magnolia. Like, wouldn't you have just stripped it? Command strips are supposed to leave no damage as well, but we can fill over that. That's absolutely fine. It's not the end of the world. Everything else is pretty good to go. The nails were easier. Why has Command Strips done that? So strange. Right, so the holes are filled. We're not gonna paint this side because it obviously needs to dry. So what we're gonna do is cut in all around the edges with some tape. This is the color we're going for. It's the Good Home b and Own brand in the color Liberty in black. Easy to apply, smooth finish. We've used Good Home brand before and it's fairly decent. It was only 13 pounds. I didn't think we were going to spend a lot on it just with it literally being the toilet. All right, let's get cracking. Right, we're fully taped up and good to go. We've taped up all of the ceiling and around the tiles. So now we're going to get the black on and start painting. I'm so excited. Do excuse this intense light and I've got my ring light here just to illuminate the toilet because the window's tiny. So we've left it to dry for around four hours. We've done a second coat and it looks fab. We did pop out to Argos and Poundland to get a couple of things. So we picked up one of these grout pens just to give the grout a bit of a freshen up. Um, it's a, I think the grout they've used like is like a yellow grout. Black would have looked cool, but I think just obviously because we're renting, I think white's probably the best bet. And this was a pound in Poundland, so... That's job number one, so I was just getting cracking on with that. And this is the black. It's very black. Obviously, we just need to take off the tape, which will freshen it up perfectly, but it contrasts really well with the ceiling. And then obviously, when we get cracking on with the floor in just a second, I think it will really come together. So we're just gonna give this little um, window ledge a bit of a sand. It's like, I think the thing they've used is a gloss but it's just got stained over time and we think we can give it a bit of a refresh. So I've just picked up some sandpaper from Poundland. It's not too abrasive and a little piece of kitchen tile. I'm just gonna wipe away 
the gloss and then just go over with a matte white just to really contrast with the white window frame and the black. Okay, so the walls are all done. I finished off all of the edging and just made it nice and crisp and clean. And the little ledge is painted as well. So now I'm just gonna grab the little handheld vacuum and just give the floor a good little sweep, clear out, mop, and then we're gonna pop the floor tiles down. Okay, so these are the floor tiles that we're using. They are from Danone. Let me just peel it off. So they are from Floor Pops Peel and Stick Final Floor Tiles. I'll leave them links down below. And they come in a pack of 10, and we measured it out. Hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll have enough of these to do the whole of here. So what we're gonna do is start on this edge because this needs to trim into the corner and then it should just be a flat layer all the way along, all the way along until we get to the loo and then we'll just cut round. Okay, so we've got some progress going. The tiles don't line up perfectly, but that's okay. Um, so all we're doing when we get to tricky bits like this is just using a really sharp razor just to get it around and match it as best as we possibly can. And then we're nearly done. Tiles are officially done. I am so happy with how this turns out. It was a little bit tricky to go around the system, as I said, but with a lot of perseverance. This took about three hours in total, so by no means a quick job. But if you have the time and you have the patience to align them up, you're pretty good. And I've just touched up the black on the walls. It is looking black, black. You can kind of see this is where the fresh paint is. So we're just going to completely call it a day for today. Let the tiles settle. We're going to pop some weighted books down just to really make sure they adhere to the floor. And then tomorrow we're going to go in with like a new painting. We're going to change this pull cord. We just got one from Argos. I'll show you that tomorrow. So yeah, really happy with the day one progress. So it's day two. And the paint has dried beautifully. It looks so good. I am in here now with a natural light. There's no ring light. There's no above light. Like, none of that. It's just as it is. Let me show you. So last night, what we did was we put loads of weight down on these just to make sure that they adhere. They recommended using a tile roller. We didn't have one of those. So I just put like the veg box that we've got, a drinks box full of like tonics and stuff. Like the loo roll basket that we have and just really weighted it down and it's laid perfectly it's looking so good so today is all about the finishing touches i'm going to change this pulley cord up here we grabbed one yesterday in argos this is going to completely come down and we're going to change it to one i think you're all going to love i'm going to pop a little vase down here that we picked up in h&m home and um, i'm also going to pop a little plant on the back we're going to do a little re-diffuser i've just reserved a bin from Danam because the one we had was very very gross it was like stainless steel but we've had it for about four years it's just a bit like ooh. so um yeah we're gonna pop that in and then it should all come together so this is the vase that we picked up this was in h&m home we actually had a voucher um for h&m so we actually didn't pay for this <laughs> and we have this eucalyptus from in the living room that we've just had kind of in a vase behind the door and it's not really been doing anything so i think in here it'll well smell lovely some of it's artificial but some of it's preserved as well so It'll smell lovely, but also just really hide that pipe. So I'm just going to pop that in. And then we had this linen reed diffuser. We've had this for quite a while, so I thought that would be nice just to have in here. Just to keep it smelling fresh. So this is our new monkey pull cord light string thing. <laughs> we just thought it was really cool and just a little bit different. I feel like the black will like blend in, but the gold will stand out. So I just need to unscrew the top plastic bit up there and then just attach this little guy to go in there. This is so good, so he's like basically just swinging along. <laughs> Look, it needs to be pull height for you though. Oh. Sarah's made some lunch. <laughs> it's nice, right? So I've just been to collect this um, pedal bin from Denam. I'll leave this link down below. If you are in the market for a black pedal bin, you will know they're quite difficult to find. This one was um, 10 pounds, I think. And like I said, it needed to be replaced because the other one was really not so pleasant to look at, so I'm just going to pop it in the corner. OK, 
Okay, the last thing I've got left to do, and then the room is completely done, is to cut a new piece of art. I'm crouching down because I'll be out of room. Um, so this is actually a piece that we had. We've had this since our old flat in Brixton and we just popped it in the new toilet. So what we're gonna do is just trim essentially the size of an A4 print out of this. So I'm thinking maybe like a leaf and a half. And then it'll just be a case of framing it. And then we're done. Okay, so this is the final reveal. Welcome to our new little toilet. So this is it, this is the finished little loo. I'm really, really happy with how it's turned out. It looks like a different room, all really on a budget. I mean, total expense, I'm probably gonna estimate around 60 pounds for a complete transformation, and I just love it. I probably, the only thing I would change is maybe go for a black toilet seat, that's the only thing, but I think with the black up top, it looks absolutely perfect. I will link everything that I possibly can down below. Things like the print and frames we already had in the flat. Um, similarly, the only new real things are the tiles and the bin. So yeah, genuinely over the moon with it, and I think my favorite things are, as I said, the same. It's got to be, this little monkey handle, I just love it. I think it's so cool and practical. So um, yeah, really happy with that. So that's it. That's the end of this vlog. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have and you're feeling a little bit inspired to transform your own little space, let me know what you have planned down below. Thank you so much for all of your love and support as always. Let me know if you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.